What's up guys, I'm Dimitri with Hyrule Canucks and I'm Eber with Hyrule Canucks. So I have a question for you, um, well for you and for the audience. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about a $25 keyboard that is targeted for gamers but is also completely waterproof? Is that ridiculous? Is it completely pointless? Is it cool? You know? Huge thanks to our Computex sponsors for sending us out here. Shout out to NVIDIA, Fantex, NCIX, and MSI. So we visited Zalman today and their keyboard with a very strange name. Ibro, what is the keyboard name? It is the ZMK650WP. Wow. And WP stands for waterproof. So this is a pretty awesome uh, product despite it's uh, sort of the stigma that surrounds cheap uh, waterproof gaming keyboards, you know, with a ridiculous name just like that. So it's a membrane keyboard with a plunger switch. The plunger switch alone, that's a hilarious name to me, <laughs> like toilet plunge. I mean, come on, seriously. <laughs> Obviously the name derives from its functionality. And so we were able to experience the keyboard full submersion in water, which was actually pretty awesome. You don't just sprinkle some water to clean it. You fully submerge it. They've done tests for uh, under a meter for 24 hours without any damage on the keys. Mm. The circuit board is protected by some three layers of film that uh, you know doesn't allow any water to go through. You try the switch, what do you think of it? And I can see the potential of using this keyboard in medical fields and construction businesses. So uh, people who are working in dusty environments, uh, I think this keyboard would be a great option. And it's $25. So okay. Zalman is definitely targeting the affordable uh, price range. The one range. thing that uh, you guys see on the screen now is when I was typing, this was the first time I actually laid my hands into the water. The cool thing is the switches I actually really like. They were responsive, the bounce back was fast, and I did not make a single spelling mistake while I was typing in the water. And uh, there was a computer hooked up to it, so you can see exactly what was happening with that keyboard. I think that's pretty awesome. Now, when the keyboard is submerged and when you take it out, there are actually drainage ports at the bottom, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Yeah. Zalman also had uh, a few other keyboards lined up. Product name is actually called the K900M. And it comes in four colors. We have black, blue, white, and yellow. The white one looks really cool, actually. So these keyboards are using kale switches, so we have uh, kale black, blue, green, and... There are RGB switches too, yeah. which is awesome. So mm -hmm. the lighting was actually pretty fantastic. I would say comparable to the Strafe. You were mentioning that's pretty yeah. good. The keyboard is driverless. No software required. All the things that you require to do and uh, function are uh, on the keyboard. So the manual is pretty extensive. You gotta go ahead and read into that. Uh, all the macros are built into it. And also a very cool feature, the built-in speaker. The built-in microphone picks up any audio source uh, in the space. So if you're talking in the background or if you have music playing, uh, the lighting effects actually start reacting to the audio source. So that has been our Zalman.